Okay guys, I promised I would send you something to recap what we covered on the weekend. Okay, so here it is. I'm going to start with uh, the opening which we covered. The opening is called the Cambridge Springs uh, Defense, a version of the Queen's Gambit. And if you recall what we went over, it starts with D4 and um, black goes d5 like that e6, knight c3, knight f6 here, here knight f3, c6, e3 and this is the really the beginning position this is the position I really want you to, to first of all to aim for and um, in your games if you get here this is where a lot of branching takes place. And the first thing we discussed, uh, let's call this one A, was the obvious move, bishop d3, is a mistake. It's a blunder because now black can take on c4, and after, you can see that the pawn attacks the bishop, but much more concerning is the fact that if you take like this, the bishop on g5 is hanging and knight attacks the bishop on g5 and attacks the knight on c3 so what i'm talking about are these two pieces are simultaneously attacked the queen attacks the bishop and it also attacks the knight the knight attacks the bishop so in this position if you retreat the bishop now you've got a problem knight takes pawn takes queen check and this position is terrible for white so at this point uh, if we go back after d4 d5 c4 e6 knight c3 knight f6 bishop g5 knight b d7 knight f3 c6 e3 queen a5 bishop d3 in this position after d takes c4 and uh, the best that white can do is to play bishop f6 and there is a bit of calculation here to put your attention on first of all uh, this bishop over here is attacked and this bishop over here is attacked so you want to get the most out of this position you are going to have to take one piece so the the thing is that if you take here and white takes here you have nothing the position is about equal um, in this position you want to go for more so what you do is you play queen to b4 hitting a couple of points increasing the number of things you're attacking you're hitting on b2 you're protecting this pawn which is hitting on this bishop you are also again threatening to take on f6 with either the knight or the pawn so there's quite a, a few targets so let's look at this step by step if white decides to save the bishop now you've got a lot of a uh, sorry problems that you can cause a, a white first of all by taking here on b2 you're hitting the knight so let's say if he takes here now you take with check he plays here and this position is much better for for white um, for black again let's say for instance the rook here you can play even queen takes check and after queen here, bishop check, king takes, uh, white, uh, black is a, pawn, a good pawn up, so this is not acceptable. So let's say in this position, after you play queen b4, let's say he plays um, bishop takes c4. Again, in this position you have this irritating idea where you just play knight f6 and now he has to do something about this bishop and you continue knight to um, e4 with the initiative much more important is you have the bishop pair which means these two bishops and he is um, he is none of course and you are keeping the pressure and if he plays you can play queen, queen uh, d2 he has to play queen c2 and f and after takes takes um, this position is much better for black 
so you can understand why after um, the move uh, queen b4 um, black is much better already so that's the first first line you need to look at which is um which is the bishop d3 one which is already a mistake it looks obvious and a lot of people make that mistake but uh, like i said it's only good for for black 